Well, I'm out here working on my chicken coop and figure, you know, now's a good time to get some clips and videos as I'm doing some modifications to my chicken coop. So if you're out there and you, and you want pets or you want poultry or you want eggs or you just want some chickens in the yard, I always recommend chickens the way to go, whether you're a prepper, a homesteader, a farmer, whatever your case may be, or you just want to take care of some insects in your yard. So in my case, I have some uh, meat bird chickens and I also have some laying chickens and I have some pet chickens. So this video is going to have different times, different places. I'm going to patch them all together and try to do some magic with it. But I uh, just wanted to let people know, you know, chickens are a good way to go. You can grow chickens damn near in a closet, in your house, in a room, believe it or not. It's all going to be off, based off of what you want to do and how to care for them, how messy, how clean, how many, and so on and so forth. So without further ado, we're just going to do some chicken, some chicken whispering, all right? All right, so I mentioned earlier that we have pet chickens, all right? And here's my pet chickens down here. You got Lucifer the rooster there. He probably won't be around much longer. His name Lucy, so don't think I named him Lucifer because of that. My wife actually named him Lucifer because he ended up going from Lucy to Lucifer because, yep, he's a male. And then we got Winnie and Poe for, like, Winnie and Pooh, Winnie Pooh. But uh, that's Winnie right there, the blonde, and then Poe over there. We call him Poe. It was Pooh, but Winnie Pooh. But uh, that's that's the that's the pet one. So they're out here in the regular main part of the yard, and uh, that's their little tiny coop and house. And got their little water. I need to get that refilled. But we let them out all day, so we're gonna let them out and let them run their thing. Come on out. Come on, Lucifer. All right, so we have the pet chickens, and we also have these uh, meat birds that I'm growing. They got about a week left before they go in the freezer. So uh, you can see, you know, real simple construction, plywood, and a little A-frame I built with tin on it. I sloped it so the water can run off. I got their feed mounted on a hook underneath there. Got water over there, automatic feeder out here. I like to put it where it gets a good amount of light because that helps uh, purify and sanitize the water. So they have plenty of water to drink. And they're picking at the grass. I raised them in the coop over there until they got big enough that I could keep them out here. And I got the electric fence around to keep them nice and secure from our bobcat friend that comes around. Got Sadie over there, let her out, walks around different areas, put their scent out. But, uh, Got the fence all out here so that's the meat birds first thing we're going to talk about is chicken structures and you can see here i got a work in progress and putting together little by little based off of just scraps and this and that so there's all kinds of designs but pretty much anything that can hold a chicken keep a chicken safe and secure and keep them in place is going to be needed to keep chickens so you want to have a good chicken coop with a good structure and uh, we'll go over later some things you can do to make it nice and safe and secure but don't ever assume that it's too secure you got to remember you got yard birds for a reason yard birds like prison yards you're the warden you let them out you put them in you make sure they're secure and they're safe from predators this will be an ongoing task anybody that's raised chickens will tell you you're going to lose some chickens What's killing your chickens? Well, nine times out of ten, it's just you. Sucks to say it, but hey, you can't put the blame on it. All the other things that you can prevent, and just you just got to understand, like when you're raising chickens, that's part of the game. You're gonna lose chickens when they're little, like the ones that just ran by, or your big ones that are your layers, or in the case of like I have over here, I got my meat birds running. Little simple structure. I got other videos you can see about my meat birds going on. But uh, they're out there. I got an electric fence around them, and they're in the yard, and they're going to grow out, and I'm going to butcher them, put them in the freezer, and get some more. And then the cycle continues. But just understand there's all kinds of structures, but it's up to you to make sure that your chickens are safe and got a good place to stay and are protected. There's Speed Racer. He's a royal palm turkey, so we're going to grow him up as a pet. I was saying earlier, some people got meat birds, some people got laying birds, and some people got pets. Well, he's going to be our pet. And that's as little friendly as I get, got with him to keep him company while he was growing up when I had to take him away from the meat birds. So, there you go. You have the meat stru the chicken structure. 
Hey Speed Racer. Alright, so I'm in here cleaning out the inside. Haven't done it in a while, but you can see uh, I got everything kind of raked out. I got uh, pine shavings over there for substrates. But what I want to point out first is, is like some of the things you can do, alright? Chickens scratch. They scratch around, they eat, and they eat inside the soil. They eat worms. Matter of fact, there's a worm right here going on. And then when they find it, they're going to eat it. And there's other little bugs. So that's good. That's what you want. That's protein towards your eggs. That's going to give that higher protein content. Okay, but some, one thing that you don't want is you don't want lice and you don't want parasitical worms that get in their system and things like that. So there's two ways to prevent it. You can add some DE powder. I'm not going to attempt to say it. Decurrent. Nah, I lied. De Dia, Dia Thomas CS. Oh, DE. I always call it DE powder because I clean pools. You got a uh, DE powder, powder. So what I do is I sprinkle DE powder on the floor. All right. Before I put the substrate, I put a good coat of DE powder. That'll help keep out lice and some parasitical worms and all that. But also the chickens will actually eat it themselves. So you can also take DE powder and about once a month, put it into your feed and mix it up really good into your feed. And that's going to help keep them worms out of, um, from building up inside these chickens as they free range around everywhere you don't have to put de everywhere but if you're getting it in them that'll help keep those uh those parasitical worms and things like that out of their system so put some de powder in there put it in their food spread it around and trust me it'll, it'll make for a healthier flock you won't have lice and things like that as much there ain't no guarantee you just got to take care of things as it goes chickens are like like i said you're the warden you got to take care of the prison here Make sure that they're all kept good, safe, kept in, and kept thing and other things out. Most of the time, your coop's more about keeping things out, especially at night, because chickens and turkeys, they go in a comatose at night. So if you ever want to check one out or whatever, you can go in there in the roost and walk up to them. You can pull them right off the roost. They won't move or anything. That That's their downfall. So that's why you want to have a good elevated roof. I didn't mention earlier, but on my chicken coop in the back, you can see I have a shed here that is the hen house. Get back, Mohawk. You gotta watch these roosters. I'll talk about that in a minute. But you gotta have some roosters if you're gonna have property like this where you got all kinds of predators out here. But I just took an old shed and made that my hen house. So we have the hen house here. And like I say, you can buy, you can get somebody to come out and construct, you can get rid of a lot of problems. But most of us, we're just like homesteaders. And we just want, you know, we do things. You know, makeshift, we come up with our own di ideas, and the thing is, is you, you know, everybody's got diff different ideas, watch all your different videos, different things make it easier, harder, whatever, but uh, there's no 100% set way, well, I guess you can say, like I said, you can hire somebody, build, and take out care of all these at once if you got that money, but most of us, <laughs> we don't got that kind of money, that's why we're raising chickens, get our eggs, get our meat, and things like that, because inflation's killing us, so uh, I just take old scrap lumber and old scrap two by fours and four by fours and old fencing and garden fencing and i just and I, I got things piled bricks and things that i put around i get things from different places and improvise and try to make it look as best as i can in the backyard here so remember de powder take some de powder throw it in the ground and then we're going to put some uh over here we got some pine shavings and i always get the large flake it just lasts longer and, and it's to me I just I like it better than the fine flakes so I get the soft flake right here large flake and I put that on top of that DE powder and then I'll sprinkle a little bit more DE powder on top of the the substrate over there all right so here we go I got a nice little coating of DE powder in there you can see the turkeys and the, the turkey speed racer over there I'm naming that because he likes to bolt out of nowhere and then uh the three little hens i got for them to be buddies with um they're in there flaking around all right and you can make a dusting box for de powder too I, I you know sometimes what i'll do is if i can find an area that i see them that like they're they're loving the dust in i'll take de powder and sprinkle it in there because that also helps them with mosquitoes and like i said lice and things like that on their and their feathers they like to do their little dusting bath all right and so another thing while i'm on the topic of this in here uh, it's kind of off topic but another topic is calcium all right i buy oyster shell and i got a little thing over here to get access to it i also sprinkle 
oyster shell in here as well so they can as they're browsing around you know they'll pick up and they'll put it in there and that helps them with their uh, little bit of grit and it helps them with uh, the eggs all right when they when you get want you want some nice solid egg shells because sometimes if your eggs if they crack really easy or you can't get a good break out of them most of the time it's a calcium deficiency so there's all kinds of ways to supplement calcium for your chickens but uh i use oyster shell and i throw it around the yard some people don't have a problem with it because they have a good amount of calcium in their yard like in their soil or different types of soil and whatnot but uh out here we just don't have a whole lot of calcium in our soil and whatnot so what i do is add the calcium so again put the de powder on the bottom then we're gonna put the pine shavings on top and then i'm gonna sprinkle some calcium in there all right so i got the substrate in there you see it looks nice and pretty it won't last like that for long but those chickens are gonna get in there i apologize this isn't like you know i'm going off the hip when i do this video I'm just trying to you know say some things as i go along so i'm gonna point out some things like right here i got a water in and i got an automatic water that goes right here that I hook onto this bucket but i'm going to put another type in here because that one's just not working out as good as i like i'm gonna put like little scooping type and i'll put it in the video later i'm just making modifications like i said as you see things you know and you want you can make it as easy as you want or you can make it as hard as you want or you can you can actually enjoy coming out and watering them every day get you a, a five gallon water i got one over there you can hardly see it it's in the back corner of the meat birds but you can fill that up i got other waters different types of waters and things but i like the automatic water so i ran piping off of my well over here so i have water i got capped off in there and i'm going to do something with later but for right now i got a one spigot there but i got the water going all down the fence I, I put in several spigots for the gardening and for the back and this whole little area is my i guess you could say my little chicken turkey garden area all right so another thing i want to point out is i just made some adjustments to my door here so i got a little latch here so i can pull it and latch all right so what I want to point out is, is I like my doors to go in. It's something I learned a long time ago. When you make the doors go in, you're standing in the door, and it keeps the chickens from coming out if you don't want them to come out, and also it pushes them away. All right, if you open it out, like my gate over here, my I got a divider in between. I open up, it has a secondary run over here. But if you have it where it opens up from the outside, they'll run out sometimes when you don't want them to. So like I said, I, I like to keep it where they open in. This one, it doesn't really matter as much because most of the time I can block them off on the other side. But uh, you can see in here, I got little netting. It's that plastic bird netting that go around and I can raise little chicks in here because the chicks over here, they can still go through that the bigger square. But I'm going to fix that with some chicken wire, get it all cleaned up. So, and I transplanted a while back. I transplanted some... Uh, bleeding heart flowers and they're starting to take hold pretty good with chickens they get in here they love edges and they'll dig up all along the edges so i got to constantly keep raking back in another thing i did if you see this area is real raked out i did that yesterday it's about to rain on us now but uh i did that yesterday and uh i sprayed it with mosquitoes you know you keep them chickens healthy and keep the mosquitoes from getting in there and biting them and and, and just happier chickens are going to give you better eggs and so on, you know. So the mosquitoes are getting ridiculous out here since the rain has came. So I, last night I, I took some uh, the spray and I sprayed all the area. I raked it all up, burned all the leaves, and uh, made it nice and clean out here. So that should help with the, uh, with the mosquitoes. Over here I have an automatic solar power chicken door I'm going to be putting in later, and I'll do a video on that as well but like i said again apologize it's all over the place just hopefully you can put it together get some ideas and and it helps people out that are raising chickens especially in these days and ages you know just the eggs alone make it worth it they're going to make good pets if you handle them a lot growing up you know you can have just a couple all you need is two eggs and you're going to get about a dozen eggs a week with two i'm sorry two chickens will give you about an egg egg six five to six days a week depending on their age all right so just keep that in mind so you don't need a bunch but i'd always recommend more than one because they are social creatures they do love to hang out with their crews so i'd recommend uh getting always getting more than one four i think is a good good little mix and uh share those eggs with them neighbors that are struggling right now too all right 
And if you like doing ducks, you know, they give lots of eggs. I don't really eat a whole lot of them. Um, I got my ducks here. We're down to seven now. We lost another one the other day. I'm not sure what exactly happened, but uh, something happened to her. But here's the Florida quackers. If you've seen my other videos, so I call them, letting them out. They got the creek over here that they can go swim in. I don't know if they're going to go in it right now or not. But uh, that's the Florida quackers. You see, we got down here, we got their little coop design that I, I built here. We got eggs over here. And they do about one egg a day. And then have their little feeder in here, automatic water. And a little hutch house. I need to put some more substrate in here, but they spend most of their time outdoors. But that's my little chicken or duck coop setup. All right, I have the chicken scratch can right here, and this is where I keep the chicken scratch in there. And I got a little coffee thing in there that I scoop up and I throw it in there for the chickens to scratch around, gives them something to do, keeps them busy in the roost. I also put it with the meat birds, keep them moving around, exercise. And it just gives the chickens a lot extra stuff to move around. Chickens are hard workers. They'll work all day long getting bugs. They'll, they're browsing, scratching. Right now they're, they're trying to find that scratch. I'm gonna throw some over here on the other side too. That way I keep them mixed up. Now this side what I do is after a while all that the shavings and all that start to decompose and poop gets on there and rain so it's like a major compost pile so i can dig out soil out of there and it's full of nutrients from the birds pooping and all that you can see the ducks came over they know what scratch time is so i throw them some scratch as well old florida quackers here they'll they'll fight back and forth between the chickens and who gets what but the door hasn't opened up yet for the chicken coop with my automatic door opener we got about five minutes left i just put it in yesterday so it, it worked last night closing so i'm hoping that i got the timer set up to open right but that's the chicken scratch now you know like i was saying like chickens can be hard or easy as you want obviously i got a lot of chickens but you don't need a whole lot if you got just a regular size family you know and you don't do much else with the eggs you can have three or four chickens and be fine and get plenty of eggs you don't have to have a rooster too that's another thing uh, that misconception a lot of people think you got to have a rooster to have eggs no 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 what an egg is literally and I don't want to gross people out by saying it but an egg is a menstrual cycle for the chicken all right yeah Sadie and Bo over here but uh got my little Winnie Poe over there running off I was gonna give them some scratch but anyway getting back to what I was saying you don't have to have a rooster to have an egg and you hear I got roosters because they help protect my flock like I said I got predators out here so I'm constantly trying to do things that help them out mohawk over here has already fought off I've come out when he's haven't been missing tail feathers and and things like that where he's fought off things getting in the yard like raccoons or whatever um potentially bobcat we got a bobcat out here wife saw it the other day we got uh owls that come out that's another thing i didn't show but i got the owl decoys i got two or three of them because owls are real territorial so if you put a decoy you need to move it around though don't just put it in one spot i move mine from time to time and give it a different look um to help try to confuse them does it 100 percent work eh, no but it does work to some extent especially with younger owls to keep them out of your flock so you see i'm feeding these uh meat birds some scratch because they'll just sit around on their ass all day because that's what they're bred to do sit there and get fat they all pile up you can see there's no grass underneath they'll sit there and pick all the grass no grass under the plywood but uh their time's running short so They'll be in the freezer here before too long. But there's a thousand things, but the thing is with chickens, you gotta just keep on adjusting and figuring out things. But understand, like I said in my other portion of the video, is that you're gonna lose you're gonna lose some chickens. It just happens. You know, just get that in your head right now. You can be doing everything and 
right and and just sometimes you don't even know so that's that's that for this portion of the video all right so i installed an automatic door opener no i didn't put it on upside down the chinese did how do you say chinese made in china without saying made in china well there you go got the sticker but the door works good uh, this is called pro shine i uh, just put it in yesterday we had a successful uh closing last night at the time that i put and we had a successful opening which was 10 o'clock about four minutes ago and uh it opened good chickens used it the chickens went in last night the door shut on its own i came out and checked on them now it just opened my little ones over here figured it out but the big ones haven't yet but it's really easy to install i didn't like the instructions because I, I had to figure out how to hook up the solar panel and all that it didn't have good details about which one plugs in because there's two sides but you got a sensor over here and and just different things but overall it works good and like it all right we had success i missed it apologize but the little ones already came out the big ones haven't came out yet they're still trying to figure it out so anyway they'll get it eventually like i said i just put this in yesterday they all found their way in last night i think you know finding their way out might be a little different because they usually wait for me to come open the door and you know they do get pattern but these little guys they already figured it out they came out first and got speed racer here that's my royal palm turkey he's already out and got the two two little babies here and then the third one's still in there he hadn't figured it out but he wants to get with his feet but they're on this side so he's gonna have to figure or she i'm sorry gonna have to figure that out but the electric door works good you can tell it's Chinese though, the sticker's upside down. I was pissed when it happened, but it is what it is. Alright, so I wanted to go over and uh, show this door again, just uh, give a little bit more detail. So it'll probably be out of place, but I'm going to put it in line uh, with uh, the video right afterwards. Alright, so first off, it has solar, which I like. It also comes with a battery pack backup that can plug over here to the left side. So you have solar, battery backup, and it also has, instead of plugging in the solar, that runs, charges this battery. So the solar comes to the, this battery that charges it, and then from there it powers the, do, the door over here. Okay, it also has where you can hook up a direct DC cord to the door. As you can see, the chickens, they've already figured it out. They like the door. They're running around over here. But... uh and it also has an, a, a battery backup that you can plug in the left side. I don't have it on here because I just don't really feel like I need to have a bunch of stuff hooked up like that because I'm out here enough. But this is more for like sometimes we go out at night. We had an incident the other day. We went out at night and uh, got a little late and came back. Well, something that got in there and got after chicken. It don't take much because the, the door didn't sh shut. And it was only like about 8.30, 8.40. So... I set this to go off. The chickens go in about 8 o'clock, so I set it where I know there's plenty of time for them to go in. You see uh, Speed Racer and his little crews over here checking me out. They're trying to figure out what I'm doing. All right, also want to say that there's this little infrared sensor, so if the door starts to go down, if you're wondering, will it close your chickens in there? Well, it's not going to close your chicken in there because if something's blocking it right there, it will not go down until that obstacle is cleared. So in other words, it starts to go down and the chicken gets in there, it's going to go back up. And then when that obstacle is clear, it's going to attempt to shut again. As long as that infrared sensor, as you can see, I put my finger in front of it, the light comes on. All right, you just got to kind of set it up where it works. And that light comes on and it'll send the door back up. So that's it for the door. So far, I like it. Hopefully, it lasts good, like I joke about with the sticker upside down. But, hey, it's just a sticker. You know, them little kids over there didn't know which way to put it on, I guess. But, you know, they, they're making the shit. We're not making it, so they're making it. But, got that. And earlier I talked about the out oh, decoy. Dang it. Sorry, Mohawk just got me. He likes to fight. And that's what I was talking about with roosters. Every now and then you got to set them straight. And let them know who's boss. Hey, they'll get you. I was turned backwards and he come up behind me just now. That's what that activity was. But anyway, so I got the owl decoys. 
and I, I set them up on different places around and that kind of helps with not only just uh, other owls but you know rodents and stuff they they're paying attention to that stuff they don't like like to see the owls I got one there and I got one back over there on my garden over there I got two of them one up on the dragon fruit but uh yeah I don't know if you can see this but mohawk just got me all right so that's one thing to consider when you got roosters you know they're protective and around their ladies though you got to keep an eye on them because they will get you they're doing their job but for the most part he kind of stays away from me but you can see he's kind of aggravated agitated i just put a little shoe to him but anyway so that's a little update on the door you got the ladies running around they, they know the door they got the water down they're happy as can be they're loving their coop loving the cleaned out area around here got a fire that's where i've been burning the rats i've been finding uh found quite a few of them and keep reading loading those traps so i'm gonna stop the video right here and go to the next thing all right so we got the automatic door over there and uh I did a little short about that little video I'm gonna put it in my uh, chicken video too but what I didn't put in there was they came with two of these uh, fobs here so these fobs are supposed to allow you to shut it and close it now I'm gonna add this to the video that I'm doing as well I'm gonna make this a short as well but for the automatic door I recommend leaving your door open during the day now I'm gonna be working out here so I got it shut because I'm trying to train these chickens on going in and out of the door and they seem to be doing pretty good with it they go in and out in and out of the door so the reason why I say that you want to leave that big door open is because they naturally run for cover if something flies over we just had a buzzard fly over and they ran for the door to get in the coop but they couldn't get in there so I recommend keeping the coop doors open however if you go leave for a night at least you know the automatic door will open and close all right so once again i forgot to uh demonstrate how the door opens and closes. so i'm going to use the key fob here to close it you see red lights come on when it's going down and if i was to interrupt it it's going to go back up you see i put my foot in there and that's that infrared sensor All right. and then so it'll get up to the top and since I did it with the remote, it's not going to go back down. But if at night, it'll attempt to go back down until the object's clear. All right, so once again, I'm closing it. I did that with the key fob. And the door closed. It turns red, letting you know that it's going down. I don't know if that trains the chickens or not. And then going up, it turns green. And there it goes. It goes up. And, of course, it goes does the same thing on my times I have set. So, knowing that that automatic door will open and close, it gives them a place to run to. I leave usually the one down there open and the one here, because they hang out around here. When something flies over, a predator, a hawk, or whatever, they'll shoot for cover. Now, if they're over in places like over out there in the yard and whatnot, they'll find, like, usually underneath a tree or bush or, like, my uh, pet chickens over there. They'll go under the bushes over there when they see something fly over. It's just their natural instinct. But, uh... Anyway, just thought I'd put that out there while I'm sitting here chilling, taking a little break. Another predator that you got to take care of with chickens is rats. Got to keep those bait traps going, keep them loaded up, and keep the rats at bay. I get them all the time out here, and they will eat the feet off your chickens. They'll harass them, not to mention they bring nasty, dirty diseases. So make sure you get bait traps and bait them. This is probably my third one since I've reloaded all my bait, bait traps and cleared the area out. Bait traps. Well, I use these bait traps right here with the Tomcat inserts. Just open it up, put them in there, fill it up. You can see it keeps them safe from the dogs and animals from getting to it. I put it by areas that I know that the rats run. And uh, I've been having to refill them like every day the last few days because I got behind on it. Like I said, it's important to keep those uh, bait traps full because... The rats will get out of control. If there's water, there's food, there's chickens and eggs, they'll eat your eggs, all kinds of stuff. Another place, you know, I'll put it right here. It's where the rats like to go in. So I got another trap here. And I also have one over there behind the duck coop. Keep those duck, those uh, bait traps going and 
I'm going to go and I'm just going to buy a big bucket. I ran out of bait and I just kept forgetting to get it. And then next thing you know, I was coming out here at night, check on the chickens or whatever, and there's rats all over the place. And uh, so taking care of most of them. Uh, we were talking about earlier about pets. These make good pets. You see, speed racers follow me around. Now, we got, that's Oreo over there. He's a uh, kin to Mohawk that just had his little ordeal. So Mohawk gets starts getting way too aggressive. Well, I got a replacement for him. And Mohawk will become a uh, uh, stew. But it drives my dogs nuts when they see the, the rooster go after me. He, he, she don't like that Sadie. She like wants to put him in his place. You see she's prancing around. At one time I had her trained where she'd put my chickens up for me. It was pretty cool. I wish I'd have got videos of it. I thought I did somewhere, but I, don't, I looked for him. I couldn't find him. And then we got Bo. He's out here hunting for duck eggs. When the ducks get out, if they haven't laid, they'll lay in the yard. And both Sadie and Bo love the duck eggs. And, hey, it's good food for them. But here's the bait that I use, which is uh, Tomcat Bait Chunk. works really well. They eat it. They go off and die. Um, if you try to use this in your house, I don't recommend buy your house if you got a lot of water sources in your house because what this does is it's going to drive them towards water and out here we got the creek that runs across the back here and so there's water over there plus there's water inside the coop and i've been finding the rats in different areas and i've been burning them i found over three out here plus i killed two with a mechanical trap inside there so i had a little mess going on but got it under control i still got to organize all this stuff still a work in progress all right but Nevertheless, like I said, can't say enough about keeping your, you know, the, the rodents at bay because they they are they they get out of control real quick. So enough on that, and I'm gonna stop the video and we'll go from there. So we got Goku over here. He does not like the camera. That's why you don't see him very often. As soon as I put the camera up, he took off running. But anyway, that's Goku. That's our border collie. All right. So now the next thing I want to talk about is the hen house. I did a video earlier today. And unfortunately, I guess my phone was full or whatever, and it went off, and I had a hen laying in there. But this is my hen house. It's a shed that I brought from another house when we moved out here, and I bought a barn that you might see in my other videos over by my camper and behind the duck house. So I had this extra shed, and I'm like, well, I'm going to make that into a chicken coop. So it's a nice chicken coop. It wasn't that expensive, even if you were bought it outright. It's just, a, you know, you improvise, like I said, and you, you make use of things, and that's what we do. So I took this and uh, I converted it into a chicken coop, all right? So got a little latch on the back. No, you don't have to lock it. It has a lock that was on it and I don't lock it. But in here we have our laying boxes and uh, don't have any of them here laying. I got the one out earlier from the day, but uh, don't see the eggs and no, no eggs in there. So they haven't been laying, but you got the roosting bar and they'll be up in here at night. All I do is I put a light up here and the cord runs out and I can plug it in in the winter. I, I don't really keep a light in there. I more or less, I, I put a heat light in there in the winter when it gets cold to help keep them a little bit warm. But we're here in Florida, so most of the time we don't even have to do that. But if I know it's getting below freezing. All right, so here's the inside of the coop. I've already took a couple scoops out of there, but just to show people what I was talking about earlier. This floor out here is that plastic Rubbermaid floor. And I think, and uh, put the light on here so you can see. And all I gotta do is take a flathead shovel and I scoop out, scoop out all that good, good chicken poop right there. That's good for the garden. And I take it over here. I got a tumbler over there that I put it in. I also have here. And I take it right here and I just dump it right on top. And then I'll load grass clippings and leaves and all this pine straw and all this will get raked up when I get to it. And it'll all go into that. And then that thing was full about a month ago and it keeps reducing down. You get the soil down there on the bottom and then you have a compost pile right there. So that's how I compost the chicken poop and how I clean out the coop over here. All right. I also have to repair a broken roost here. And I'm going to take down this nesting box because obviously they don't use it. It's nasty. It gets pooped on. It's under too close. So like I was saying, when you do these chicken goose, you're going to have to adjust a lot of things, modify things to make them better for you. 
So that's the inside of the coop, and I'm gonna get this all cleaned out. I'm gonna put a heat light in there, and uh, that helps them out. And additionally, what I did was I, I got these little vents from Home Depot right here. I got two of them. I'm probably gonna put a couple more in um, because it's just good to have good ventilation. I think I need a little bit more ventilation. So I got one on each side. All right. So that's the chicken coop. Of course, I had the deck that I built when I had it at our other house. I brought the whole thing with me. Pain in the butt, but I got it over here. Threw it on the trailer. But uh, on that note, we got the little doors here. This one's made, and I got the little slide here. And you can look back in the video, and you can see where this access point goes between the, the main coop or main run side and the extra run side. So I got two different sides. It gives them something to go in between and back and through and uh just you know keeps them separated or i can separate them like i talked about in other videos i can raise these little guys because i got the little netting in here i'm gonna do a little bit better job with that with some like chicken wire or maybe some of my extra uh garden fence wire that i had mainly just to make those holes smaller so they can't go the little chicks can't go through it yep oh, there we go he's doing it again i guess he didn't learn so you gotta, you gotta keep these roosters at big, big, because they will jack you up. All right, that's Mohawk. He's had a few run-ins with raccoons, and uh, so he he's doing his job, but he he's getting a little aggressive here lately. He's got the dogs running around. He's not not liking it too much. So there you go. There, my dog's helping me out there, but he came after me, but. I like you see as you look back here in the back and back there in the back I got a little doggy door I just bought a doggy door and put that in and uh, that's how the chickens get in and out of coop I also got the door hanging up over there that I can if I need to I could uh, put them in so just want to let you guys see that's where Mohawk got me you know I'm out here on the phone not paying attention but he got me so I'm gonna have to go clean that up but you gotta mind these roosters, especially if you got kids. You don't need roosters to have eggs, and I definitely recommend if you're not planning on breeding them or you don't have a predation problem, not to even have a rooster. I got three of them right now, and I had uh, Reuben, if you watch some of my other videos, he uh, he had to go, and he's in the freezer, and we're gonna eat him sooner or later. But unfortunately, I love Mohawk, he's a beautiful rooster, but can't be having too aggressive of a bird out here and uh, for the most part it doesn't usually bother me I think it's more that I'm just not paying attention because I'm on the phone but uh anyway I want you to see if, I don't know if you can see in this video or not but those two right there going in one's named Naked got her neck torn up by a raccoon and the other one back there is uh, Mohawk's favorite that he breathes and she has no feathers on her back so pretty rough but that's the life of the chickens just some of the things you can expect so that being said i got goku here he's guarding me come on goku and uh that's about it in the life of some chicken whispering and uh there might be some more i probably missed some things but hopefully it'll give you some ideas and and get you going you don't need nothing this big you don't need it all depends on how many birds you're looking you know about a two i say about two square feet per bird bird of run area um about a foot and a half each bird square foot of perching pair uh area and there you can see that shed's plenty big enough i could run probably another 10 chickens in this setup right here fine i just have what i have i got no need it's just me and my wife so this is what I have so and it's a work in progress and it'll always will be a work in progress and we always learn based off of your conditions your environment where you're at there's different ways of running chickens when you're down here in the south as opposed to up north you know you need to find some people that raise chickens up north I'm a Florida boy and about as far north as I raised chickens was North Carolina which is different then you know you just more about keeping them warm keeping them comfortable uh, things like that and then the egg cycles and things and so on and so forth but uh that's it that's florida that's florida chicken coop right here and uh i don't know I, really much else i can I mean, let you know 
I can say that the chickens, they do like to have things to play on, especially these little guys. So um, in this case right here, I just dropped their swing back down. The little guys will get on that and they'll literally swing if you've never seen a chicken swinging. My little guys haven't figured it out yet because I had it wrapped up there. I was working in there and had the meat birds in there. But um, put a little platform over there. That's Goldie and Locks. They're enjoying the, the view from their platform. It fell down the other day. I had to put it back up. And then they got the perch there. So, And then I just run extension cords to run power when I need it for different things. Heating lights when I have little babies in there being raised and things like that. It becomes the incubation, incubation room. I start them out in, uh, I don't know if you saw earlier, I keep them in my modified dog cages over here and bird cages. I got two of them right here. That's how I usually raise my small birds until they get old enough. And I usually raise them in the garage until they get big enough that I can put them out here in the extended run. Then I'll shut that side off to keep the bigger birds from picking on them and let them get a little bigger. And then that helps them in between the fence uh, get used to each other so they're not new going in so and then so then i can keep all the big guys on here and then the overlap down here helps protect the little ones when i put them in there and then i still put the cage in there i do just different things to protect them and then put them up at night but that gives them that whole little area to run around start start growing their wings if you would and that's the chicken whispering hope you enjoyed please like subscribe i'm going to try to do more videos comment need some comments too anything to keep the algorithm going i know i got some political type videos on there uh, apologize if you don't like it just don't you don't have to watch any of it I, sometimes i need that to vote voice you know and I, I just love our country i love who we are that's my name american boone and uh you know apologize if any of the other things venue we're all americans and i want to help and everybody have a good life and and you know things like that and and i just can't stand where we're at with all this political uh, that, that even that we have to be this involved you know our country's so down in our shit is bottom line regardless who you're going for and that we're being divided so but if you like that and want to hear some of my views i just try to put things in my views and i understand everybody's not always going to agree I don't always agree with everybody and everybody don't always agree with me but hey some things we can't agree on and we can work out even when it comes to like chickens and doing things like that hey you might not agree with my views on this or that and policies but you might agree with on how I raise chickens and take care of my birds and my animals my beautiful dogs you know they're my security as well you know they have all kinds of aspects of just keeping yourself safe keeping you and your family safe protecting yourself i got right here at least 20 good mils of chicken if i went that route but i got way more than that if you talk about the eggs they take care of bugs and things out here in the yard and keep things at bay and uh you see i got the garden over there i got to work on that but hey this is what i do got my big smoker grill over there i did some videos on that so if you like this kind of stuff, hey, like, subscribe. Hey, I encourage you to make your own channel. And, and I watch a lot of channels, and I'll support you. You support me, and just tell people, hey, check it out. And, you know, there ain't no need to be upset about each other just because I have other videos on there. I love to hunt. Hunting season's coming up. Look forward to those videos. I'll take you out in the swamp, show you how we hunt down here in the Florida Green Swamp. Check out my deer video if you like hunting. So with that, take care. God bless. Love y'all. Bye.